Hello. Welcome to Avira's sixth annual end of year showcase. My name is Lior Petter Lipstein, and I've had the honor of being Avira's president this year. And I'm Lainey Berger, Avira's artistic director. Thank you to everyone who's joining us in person and virtually to celebrate Avira's accomplishments. Avira is the University of Maryland's Israeli dance company. Each year, we create original choreographies, learn traditional Israeli dance, and share our love of dance with the community through teaching and performing. Our biggest performances are the Israeli dance festivals in Boston, DC, and the Washington Wizards Jewish Heritage Night, and of course, this showcase. But we also perform on campus and in the surrounding area. Avira is fully in the swing of things post COVID-19. After last spring, we said goodbye to our last few Avira dancers from the pre-COVID era. Um, beginning the year with only three dancers, we recruited seven new members this year, who you'll meet in just a minute. Um, we're so excited to show you how far we've come in just a few short months. I can't express how much fun we all have together, both in and out of rehearsal. We call ourselves a mishpacha vira, a combination of our name and the word mishpacha, meaning family in Hebrew. This year, with our amazing new members, our mishpacha vira went to incredible new places together. The avira board worked hard to make it all possible, but we couldn't have done it without each one of our dancers and board members who contributed their artistic ability, abilities, enthusiasm, humor, and dedication to making sure that avira remains the strong and fun group that it is. Tonight's showcase is a true testament of what we have accomplished this year. Alongside a few guest performances, we'll perform seven dances. Each dance is a slightly different style, demonstrating the different strengths and backgrounds of our dancers. A common thread that runs through the entire show is the title, Chayenu, meaning our lives. The dances you'll see here are inspired by our different approaches to life as people, as dancers, and as members of the UMD community. We are proud of our different lifestyles and worldviews, and we're excited to share Chayenu with you all. To so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah, and I'm both internal relations chair and choreographer. Um, the dance you're about to see is a parody suite in which we perform Israeli folk dance to music outside of our normal repertoire, in this case, pop culture. The dance is set to songs from Broadway, the Broadway musical Hamilton, featuring re many recognizable hits. Um, so the dance is named Avi Room Where It Happened because we love a play on words. Since Hamilton is so well known, I had fun time choosing which songs to use for this dance. During rehearsal, we often sing along while learning the dance. It was my first time choreographing, so I'm really excited to be able to start out our showcase. With that, I'm excited to welcome you all into the Avi Room Where It Happened. So listen to my declaration We hold these truths to be self-evident That all men are created equal And when I meet Thomas Jefferson oh. I'ma compel him to include women in the sequel Work! No one else was in the room where it happened The room where it happened The room where it happened No one else was in the room where it happened The room where it happened The room where it happened No one really knows how the game is played The art of the trade How the sausage is made is in the room where it happens so what did i miss what did i miss mm. virginia my home sweet home i want to give you a kiss mm. i've been in paris meeting lots of different ladies i guess i basically missed the late 80s i traveled the wide wide world and came back to this Wrote to me. 
Thank you so much, Hanna, for that opening dance. Our parody dances, like the Hamilton dance you just saw, are choreographed specifically for the year's showcase. As you can tell, we have a lot of fun dancing together. There's more to Abhirav than just the dancers, though. A lot of work goes into this group behind the scenes, and we could not be here without many other people. We want to thank SGA, Sork, Sork Finance, Stamp, and Hillel for giving us the resources and funding to put on this showcase. Several of our recent alumni have provided guidance and assurance to our board members, and our faculty advisor, Peggy, has helped us in all kinds of ways, including tabling with us at Israel Fest this past Tuesday. Part of what makes Abira so incredible is the rich history and infrastructure. I was a little uncertain about taking on the role of president at the end of last year, but thanks to the work of so many within the Mishpach Avira, we've been able to maintain so much. I'm so proud of all of our dancers especially, and would like to call up one of them to introduce the next dance. Hi everyone, my name is Pearly and I'm one of Aviraz freshmen this year. I arranged our next dance, Lama Ha'esh, which means why the fire in Hebrew. This is a Harka dance, which means I took two existing Israeli folk dances, Harka Do, and arranged them into a performable piece. The first Harka Do is called Why, which Avira had fun learning during rehearsal this year. The second is called Zodiac, set to Esh Bashamayim, which is one of the first Israeli dances I ever learned. The title, Lama Ha'esh, reflects a play on the names of the two dances. This is the first time, this is my first time arranging a dance and teaching for Avira, and I'm hopeful that you'll see more of my work in future Avira performances. Enjoy Lama Ha'esh. Why, why, why did you call us so? Go on, you're 
Hello, everyone. I'm Felicia, and I want to introduce another aspect of the Avi Ra Showcase that makes it so fun. Yesodo is the DC area high school Israeli dance troupe. They performed at our last showcase in 2022 and danced alongside us in this year's DC and Boston festivals. We're excited to welcome them back to campus to perform Rakud Hashanah. This beautiful dance, which means dance of the year in Hebrew, blew everyone away at DC Festival. We're so excited to see it again. Also, one of Yesudot's leaders, Mike Fox, is one of my old family friends. So I'm honored to welcome and introduce Yesudot to perform Rakud Hashanah.
Thank you, Yeso Dope. We are lucky to have such a good relationship with the Israeli dance community. My name is Nava, and I am one of the choreographers this year. <laughs> this next dance is one of Avira's main suites for the year. We performed it at the DC and Boston festivals, as well as abridged versions of it at different community events. I am pleased to welcome my original choreography, Chaim Zechaim, back to stage. The title, meaning life is life in Hebrew, was chosen to represent life in Israel. Please be advised, this dance contains air raid sirens, so do not be alarmed when you hear them. The sirens and this dance as a whole symbolizes how Israelis live in a perpetual back and forth state of joy and sorrow, life and fear. This, may, this dance is, is made to remind us that we have to go through our lives, Chayinu, with the reminder that life goes on. With that, please enjoy Chayim Zechayim. Come 
I always have such a fun time doing that dance. As Navan mentioned, we often perform that dance when we go out in the surrounding communities. I give a quick spiel about the origins of Israeli dance, including how it's a style of dance that pulls on many different, different influences and was created by people from all over the world with all sorts of backgrounds. Uh, traveling and drawing on different cultures is such a large part of Israeli dance, and a few of our members have gone abroad and experienced this firsthand. This past spring, Naomi studied in Florence, Italy for a semester. Next year, Neva is going to be studying in Israel for both the fall and spring semesters. We're so excited to see what they both bring back from these experiences and deeply miss them while they're away. Now I'd like to bring up another of our dancers to introduce the next dance. Um, hi, I'm Lainey again. Um, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Leora, our president. Let's give her a round of applause. You cannot imagine the work that she puts into this, um, the like hearted soul that it takes to run a student group. Nevertheless, a student group that's kind of Jewish and kind of not and whatever. Leora's the most organized person I know and I'm so honored to be working with her. And I'll call up Ellie now, yay. Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, and I'm proud to introduce the ne our next piece, which is also a harka dance. This mashup, which I arranged, is called Avira Shoviva, which means playful atmosphere. I chose this name because the two songs, Toy and Hine Matov, are both fun, playful songs. We also often teach these two dances when we visit Sunday schools and synagogues. Avira Shoviva reminds us to take ownership while also finding the joy and playfulness in our lives. Chayinu. Please enjoy my first arrangement, Avira Sheviva.
I'm Heather. As Felicia was talking about earlier, Yes Ado is a large part of Avi Ra. From the camaraderie of its dancers, both past and present, to the aid and support of leaders have given us over the years, Yes Ado has been with Avi, Avi Ra for as long as we have been around. In fact, this is the first year in close to 20 years, possibly ever, that there were no Yes Ado alumni in Avi Ra. Despite that, we're super excited to welcome Yes Ado back to the stage to perform a second dance, Kolot Hamid Zrach. Thank you, Yeso Dote, stellar as always. And a special thank you to Mike Amarnina for being so supportive of Avira throughout the years. We are really grateful. 
Speaking of generations, I am very proud to introduce our next dance, Ma'amina, meaning belief in Hebrew. This dance is an old Avira suite that predates all of our current dancers. It was choreographed by Katie Friedman and Katie Hamelberg and was originally performed in 2015, then again in 2019, and today we'll perform an abridged version. This dance highlights Jewish beliefs, providing one of many perspectives, a Jewish religious perspective, for living our lives. Chayenu. Enjoy Ma'amina. everyone. I'm Alexis. I have been the group's treasurer this year. I joined the group as a general member, not a dancer, because I thought it was a cool organization and an interesting way to get involved on campus. My friend Hannah got me involved and trained me in the role. Treasurer has not been an easy job, but I have learned a lot about the SGA budget pro process and bylaws. Over the course of the year, we received $4,913 for Aviraz activities, from renting rehearsal space to travel expenses to the IT supplies that we're using to live stream this event. We were able to purchase everything the club needed to be successful. Without holding any active fundraisers this year, Avira is in a good position to continue dancing. However, that being said, we would of course appreciate your support so we can do even more. You can donate through Venmo or PayPal, which you can find by scanning the QR code on the back of the programs, or the big QR code by the tables in the back. Thank you in advance for supporting Avira. 
Avira was created at the University of Maryland in the 1990s, and we have videos of their performances. Around 2004, the group was struggling to recruit members, so it took a hiatus, but it was revived in 2014. Since then, Avira 2.0, as we call it, as we call it, has grown. We've performed in DC and Boston festivals, taught at Sunday schools and Jewish institutions around Maryland, and even performed at two Washington Wizards games over the course of the year. Our lives and the lives of our, of our predecessors helped build this incredible group that is here today. I'd like to give a special shout out to all alumni in the room from 1.0 and 2.0 onwards. Now, we will invite any of your alumni in the audience or backstage to join us for our brand new Avira alumni dance. This dance, arranged by me, uses two of Avira's current favorite harkadot, I can speak, to, to bring together our dancers from across the generations of Avira. The first song, Adamava Shemaim, is a more traditional Israeli folk dance, while the second song, Rikuda Shvatim, is a more recent dance with a sassy flair. Please enjoy this alumni reunion dance. Once in Avira, always in Avira. Alumni, can make a circle. Wow, I'm so honored to be a part of this group, and I'm so glad that I found Avi Ra on Instagram. My name is Julian, and I'm one of Avi Ra's newest members, only joining this spring. I'd like to introduce our second guest dance group tonight. Merkade Yahab was formed by recent Avi Ra Ramlai, who wanted to keep Israeli dancing accessible to young adults. We are thrilled to welcome some of our alumni back onto the stage. The dance Rikuda Yahab will be performing La Resistencia, choreographed by Hannah Wiseman and Moshe Ackerman was initially choreographed for Avi Ra to perform in the spring of 2020. 
We're glad to see this dance, a tribute to the passion of Israeli folk dance, brought back to stage. Please welcome Rikudai Yahad. Okay, while Rukhul Yachad is still changing, as many of their alumni were just not alumni dance, I'm gonna tell you about why Abira has such a strong connection with the other Israeli dance groups in the area. Okay, so as you saw, there's Yesodot, which performed, and now Rukhul Yachad is about to perform. And for many years, as alluded to earlier, Yesodot served as almost a feeder for Abira. The group, back in the 1990s, was started by Yesodot alumni, and like I believe Heather mentioned earlier, this is the first year in close to 20 years, if ever, that there are no Yesodot alumni in Avira. No. <laughs> but now we have Yesodot alumni in <laughs> Rikude Yachad and, and Avira alumni in Rikude Yachad. And so without further ado, here they are with La Resistencia.
just technical difficulty, but Rika Yaha killed it. Can we give them another round of applause? <laughs> um, so after a nice long show, assuming our audio works, it's time for a finale. Um, I'm incredibly proud to present my first full suite, my original choreography, Hashkafa Mila Mala. This is the fourth time we're performing Hashkafa Mila Mala this year, after the Washington Wizards pregame show in November, and the DC and Boston festivals in March. But I assure you, it has never looked better. Hashkafa Mila Mala means outlook from above, reflecting the overarching idea throughout these songs that we have to take a step back, or maybe a step up, to view our lives, chayinu, in the proper context. Um, uh, audio, how we doing? Okay, can you, can we like test, make sure like, do like a, like a quick play of something? Um. Great, okay. <laughs> so, so with that, please enjoy our final dance of the night, Hashkafa Mila Mala. Shepherd boy is greater than the richest king. If a man lose everything he owns, has he truly lost his worth? Or is it the beginning of a new and brighter birth? So how do you measure the worth of a man in wealth or strength or size? In how much he gained or how much he gained? The answer will come. The answer will come to him who tries to look at his life through heaven's eyes. And that's why we share all we have with you, though there's little to be found. When all you've got is nothing, there's a lot to go around. 
Lord. No life can escape being blown about by the winds of change and chance. And though you never know all the steps, you must learn to join the dance. You must learn to join the dance. I wanted to reiterate our thanks to all the incredible people who have helped Avira throughout this year. First, thank you to Val and all of Sork and Sork Finance for making Showcase possible financially and practically. And thank you to Rob, Stamp IT, and Stamp Event and Guest Services for this room and this live stream. To Bobby at the Clarice, to Don at Hillel, to Esther in the back, let's give her a round of applause. Woo! And to Avira's wonderful faculty advisor, Peggy Antonis. But, more, but most importantly, thank you to everyone in Avira, Heather and Jillian for joining mid-year, Ellie, Pearlie, Hannah, Felicia, and Naomi for joining the Mishpach Avira wholeheartedly, Neva for stepping up and being there for Lainey and I throughout it all, Alexis for keeping the treasury functioning, Lainey for literally everything, and Leora for everything else. <laughs> Avira has done so much more than either of us ever thought possible this year, and we couldn't have done it without each and every one of you. Finally, thank you to everyone here for watching and supporting us. Thanks! Thanks. Woo!